to my visionary leaders. This is a very important message from Spirit. The more you rest, the more you will receive. <gasps> Spirit is saying this is a bit of a timeless channeled message. So whenever you see this is whenever you're supposed to see this. Take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else. In order for you to build this global impact empire, you're going to need to figure out a better way of leveraging your time and energy because you cannot continue to burn yourself out and work from day in to day out um, in order to make this happen. It's just not sustainable. Yes, you're still going to have to work. And yes, it's going to be so much fun, but not to the point of detrimenting your own health. You're not meant to do the grunt work. You're meant to like get to a place where you can actually receive the visions of what needs to happen. And then you then are supposed to get the vision and then hold the vision and then be able to learn how to delegate and attract the people to come in to help you build it out and do the grunt work that you just aren't meant to be doing. Now, that doesn't mean that you're not going to be in the trenches with them doing the work or doing other kinds of work. But this is about really owning where your zone of genius is and sticking to that and then hiring people whose zones of genius as it is to do the other stuff that, you know, that you're weak at or it just drains your energy. I'm also hearing that you need to stop following all of these TikTok strategies and you really just need to show up and actually post what you actually want to talk about. Like that's your secret because when you're finally passionate about a topic and then you talk about it, people listen. You don't even need to have an affirmation of, oh, people love to listen to me or they always have to listen to what I have to say. People listen to what you have to say when you're excited about it, when you're really pissed off about like a company that like effed you over, people listen. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how magnetic you are. But when you're trying to conform it or phrase it or articulate it or craft it in a specific way, that's when you're losing the magic and that's where you're losing the traction and that's why you're so frustrated. August is going to be a very pivotal month for you. But again, if you're seeing this like, and it's after August, like whatever month you're in is going to be very, very game changing for you. And I'm hearing for some of you that this is the tipping point. As in, you have the chance to back out right now if you want to. If this is too much and this emotional upheaval and having to do the shadow work so that all areas of you can be healed, so you can accept yourself as whole, so that you can show the fuck up as this incredible visionary leader that you were meant to be, you can say no. Universe will find someone else. But if you want to claim it, change is necessary. Go to part two.